Andrea Locatelli are looking good at uh, this stage. He's up by a tenth of a second after three completed sectors. And uh, Locatelli, who's had just a single front row result in his Super Pole appearances to date, it was third place here in uh, Mandalika in November. This is a venue where he and Yamaha can go well, and Locatelli will be keen to prove it here. Raz Gatlioglu down after three sectors. Can he find anything on Bautista as he comes across the line? Yes, he can. It's a 1 minute 32 flat from Raz Gatlioglu, and Locatelli moves up into P2 with a 132.1. Further down the order, Scott Redding on course to move up as well. Redding at the halfway stage of the lap was actually faster than Raz Gatlioglu, but in the second half of the lap, the BMW just starting to lose a little bit of ground. Brilliant effort that from Andrea Locatelli. Remember, second in the point standings after the opening round of this season at Phillip Island. He was delighted with that, and he'll be delighted with this if it stays as things are at present. Jonathan Ray moves up into fourth position, ahead now of Michael Ruben Rinaldi, but a quarter of a second down on Raz Gatlioglu. Ray unable to move up onto the front row of the grid. I can tell you that uh, Michael Ruben Rinaldi's latest lap is going to be aborted. He's ended up on the uh, gravel trap in sector three. So uh, Rinaldi hitting problems. He will still have time to cross the line for one more go, as long as those tyres aren't too dirty. Yeah, really good effort though from the BMWs. Baz and Redding moving themselves up seven and eighth position there, both within about six tenths of a second of the pole. Alvaro Bautista's first lap of his final stint uh, is not enough for him to improve. Only a thousandth of a second down on what he was able to set before though. One minute 32.203 as opposed to a 202 that he said it set in his first stint. Bautista in line to qualify on the front row of the grid as things stand, but it's looking good for a Pata Yamaha 1-2 from Raz Gatlioglu and Locatelli. Still a minute to go. Bautista onto his latest lap and a tenth of a second up after sector one. This is Michael Ruben Rinaldi. Yeah, he just bails on a true 11 and it's such a fast section of the racetrack through there that if you're not 100% sure on it, you have to just step out of it and uh, given the schedule we have this weekend, it's better off to run through the gravel trap like that rather than risk a crash. Jonathan Ray just trying to find himself a little bit of daylight as he makes his way now through the final sector. Axel Bassani uh, off the circuit and on the apron. 50 seconds on the clock. They're all trying to get themselves a little bit of space. And uh, Axel Bassani now will uh, will attempt to rejoin. We're seeing him bunched up behind Philip Ertl and Jonathan Ray here. Ray just moving out of the way to uh, give position to Philip Ertl and Bassani wants to get a bit of daylight as well. Only 30 seconds on the clock now. Yeah, and you can see here for Alvaro Bautista, bit of traffic at the end of his lap at this stage. So for Alvaro, he might have time for one more lap at the end of this session. Worst news though, as far as Bautista is concerned, to be tucked in uh, coming through the final it was his first two laps in his first stint that were good enough the third lap started to go away from him and it's going to be the third lap here that he's going to be relying on he will make it to the line looks a little bit frustrated one minute 33 for him on that particular lap he has now got clear though of Garrett Gerloff crucially but he's not going to be able to set another lap he bails on it at turn one the checkered flag has now fallen so a final effort uh, frustration for Alvaro Bautista I don't think anyone's going to improve to knock him off the front row of the group Jonathan Ray is down by four tenths of a second at the halfway mark. 